Hello, welcome back to the channel. This, for a change, is actually Project C1. Uh, and today on Project C1, we're doing something in preparation for the turbo install, which I promise I'm getting to at some point. Uh, it will happen, not quite yet. But we're doing some preparatory work for it first. So what we're going to do is we're going to install an oil cooler. Uh, it's an AN10 oil cooler, uh, I think it's like nine row, something like that. Uh, and a AN10 sandwich plate for the oil filter as well. That's where we're going to take it off. So without any further ado, let's get on with that. Okay, so this is the equipment that we need then. First and foremost, the actual oil cooler itself. Uh, as I mentioned, it's um, AN10. Well, I can take the cap off. Um, it's AN10, which is exactly the same as that. Okay? Uh, we have the actual sandwich plate itself. Uh, there's a, um, a, an out and an in. And then, like I said earlier, some something that we can use for maybe like oil supplies. We have an adapter so that that goes in there. The oil filter screws into there. That goes into the car. We've got various connectors. We've got 90 degrees, some straight connectors, some, some hose clamps of two different kinds. And we've got the actual AN10 hose itself. So let's go and start having a look where we'll see where we're going to fit that to the car. Okay, so what we've got now, we've got access to the oil filter hosing. And what we're going to do is use this as the inside, so that'll go that way. That'll give us some access to put that up there. Okay, so if we get that on there, uh, screw that up. I apologise for the camera work. Uh, screw that, and that should work then. So let me set the camera up, and I'll show you what's happening. So that's the oil cooler fitted. Um, we've done that with two M6 bolts. Uh, we've just used a, um, a rivnut tool for that, but that is solid, that's not going anywhere. So we can take the caps off in a moment once we've actually set the lines up. Uh, and we've also got the um, sandwich plate fitted and the actual filter itself. So the left one, if I remember correctly, is going to be the hot oil supply, and the right one's going to be the cold. So. Um, yeah, happy days. So we'll get the lines all set up for that and uh, we'll go do that now. Okay, so now what we're going to do is do the AN lines. So I've measured from this end all the way around up to this mark here. So what I'm going to do is get the angle grinder, go straight through that gap, nice clean cut. One end we'll get a 90, uh, wrong, we're straight, and one end we'll get a 90. So the way that these work is if I can undo these. Okay, they come undone, like that. And then this end that I'm spinning off, 
has got a little shoulder just on the inside just there okay what happens is you get the um because that's wrapped in tape that gets a little shove on up there so that it matches up and sits like that okay so that holds in that end what happens then is we get some red rubber grease and we dab some red rubber grease around this area and push that in there and do them up okay? and it's a simple case of I'm getting the right way around and it's a simple case of screw it up until those two mating surfaces are flush that one and that one using two spanners um, you can get dedicated AN spanners because these are made of aluminium and these are made of steel and fair enough I don't have them I'm not going to bother with them I'm not too fussed whether I scratch the aluminium or not so it's up to you whether you do but uh, let's get on with making that wine Okay, so that's the oil cooler install actually done. That's the physical piece of kit in the car. Uh, it's nice and secure. All the air fittings are on. We've clamped it in two places, just down there as well. And it's on the oil filter. You can't really see all that well here. There, okay. So it's all installed. What we're going to do now, we're going to top it up with some oil. We're going to start the engine, let it flush around the filter and the oil cooler, let it fill that, then we'll stop it and check the level again. So I've got the vehicle down on the ground at its level. Let's fill it full of oil. Okay, so we've got the engine running. We checked the leaks uh, and you saw the pressure take up in these hoses. And you can feel they're all nice and pressurized, so that's good. Uh, there's no leaks around either of these. And there's no leaks down here. Now I know that you can't see very much of that, however, me being the idiot that I am, installed that upside down, so it did start to leak, hence the little wet patch on the floor. Just there. But we've rectified that, everything's good, and um, we've got no warning lights on the dash in regards to pressure or anything like that. So I think we're good. We'll check the oil level once more. Um, still got a funnel in the top, my makeshift funnel. Uh, we'll check the oil level once more, and if that's right, we'll call that good. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. Um, there's a couple of issues with it. First and foremost, we had an oil leak when we started everything up. And that was because of this idiot. 
installed the oil the uh, oil filter sandwich plate upside down. So, yeah, as soon as it started leaking, it was a hmm. I know exactly what I've done here. Turn it off. Uh, so we turned uh, turned it off, took it off, turned it around the correct way, put it back on, stopped leaking. Great stuff. Um, there was also a bit of an issue with putting the AN10 lines together. Never done it before. There's a knack to it. I was just developing the knack. That is all. Um, but it, everything is in. Everything is good. There's a little bit of a clearance issue with the bumper, but that's not a problem because that front bumper is coming off and getting replaced with a um, facelift one at some point anyway. So it's on for now. It's working. It's great. It's happy days. Uh, since recording that, I've done about 800 miles in this car and I didn't actually expect to have to do that, but it's worked really, really well and I'm so happy with it. Um, all right, it's taken a little bit of extra oil, of course, because we've essentially increased the volume of the uh, oil system. But that's nothing to be uh, like; it's nothing to be worried about. It's perfectly expected. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with it. Next up, hopefully, probably not the next video, but hopefully soon, the turbo. Finally. Uh, but you know what to do then. If you like to, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that sort of YouTube good stuff that tells the algorithm that the channel's doing really well and promotes it to other people so other people can see this good stuff. Um, <clears throat> go and visit my sponsors. First and foremost, we have TSA Performance. Uh, I currently have one of their uh, oil caps on my car. Uh, I will put a picture of that on Instagram. Speaking of which, you can follow me on Instagram just here. Uh, at DabDIY, see what I'm up to between videos. Uh, also go and see Form 7 Performance, <clears throat> it's basically any part for any car, and if they haven't get it, uh, if they haven't got it even, go speak to them, see if they can get it. Uh, discount code on screen, all that sort of good stuff, go go visit them. Uh, we also have X8R, it's rainy season now, it's cold and wet and a bit miserable, so um, go speak to them, get your seal kits, discount on the screen, affiliate link down below. Uh, and we also have Mishimoto for any of the oil coolers. See what I did there? Um, although, to be fair, I did buy this oil cooler before Mishimoto started sponsoring me. So, sorry. Uh, I will at some point replace it with a Mishimoto one. And when I do the turbo, I will speak to Mishimoto and get a Mishimoto intercooler as well. Uh, but if you need anything like this, go speak to them. These are this particularly good sponsor for this one. Go speak to them and get all your parts from there. Uh, we also have... Um, Blossom Automotive. Um, again, really good company to deal with. Links down in the description below. Discount code on screen. Any sticker patch or anything like that that you quite fancy. Uh, even anything custom. Go speak to them. See if they can do it. Um, you never know. They might do it. Uh, so yeah, visit all the sponsors. Remember to ring the bell. Get notified next time I drop a next video. And I'll see you then.